Hello, my name is Juan Luis Sanchez. I am a chemistry creator here at Utah, and today I will be demonstrating an experiment involving rates called the iodine clock reaction. For this experiment, you will need the following chemicals. One molar hydrochloric acid, potassium iodide, sodium thiosulfate, starch, and hydrogen peroxide. To begin this experiment, pipe the 4 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into your Erlenmeyer flask. The concentration of your reactants will affect the speed of the reaction. Higher concentrations will make the reaction go faster, whereas lower concentrations will make the reaction go slower. Next, you will need potassium iodide. You'll use 4 milliliters of this to react with hydrogen peroxide to form iodide. The iodide will then react with the sodium thiosulfate to create tetrathionate, recycling the iodide ions until the sodium thiosulfate has been completely consumed by the reaction. You will use 10 milliliters of sodium thiosulfate to accomplish this. Next, you will add 2 milliliters of starch. The starch will react with the remaining triiodide ions to create a color change. Lastly, you will need hydrogen peroxide, 10 milliliters of hydrogen peroxide. This will initiate our reaction. Be sure to shake it to create a heterogeneous mixture. Now begin the countdown, one, two, three, and that is the iodine clock reaction.